Good morning. Today I'm going to show you how I clean my milking machine. We just got done milking and bottling milk for this morning. And now we're going to wash up. I start with a lukewarm rinse, and I want to get most of the milk off of everything. Because when I use the soap, I want it to be the most effective it can be. If I'm in a hurry, I don't take the inflations off when I wash. I just scrub by hand, but really, for if you're bottling milk, the inflation should come off and get, get washed separately from the lid. Rinse off and put this board away. This board is made of cedar, and what we do is we put the, the filter on top and put our jars underneath for filling them because this was designed to go on a bulk tank, not designed to fill half gallon bottles of milk. One question a lot of people have is whether they should use a dairy detergent such as this or whether they can just use regular dish soap. And a lot of people just use dish soap and a lot of people tell you that you have to use dairy detergent. But the important thing that you need to know is what kind of a milking machine do you have? So, I just guess on how much soap I need, but it's a quarter cup of this particular detergent <clears throat> mixed with three cups of water, and so I do, you know, not quite a quarter of a cup, but then I only do like a gallon of water, and so it's stronger than, than it would be for a clean and place system. So I put all the parts in there that fit and just kind of let them soak initially. And so what you need to know is that bleach takes two minutes on contact on relatively clean surfaces in order to um, clean and sanitize. <clears throat> but the surge milking machine is different than a clean and play system because you can scrub it all by hand. When you're using a sip, 
which is a clean in place. So people that have like the DeLaval style claw bucket and if they're just using the pressure of water to clean their machine, then stronger chemicals are needed, such as this type of detergent. So I don't use this all the time, but I wanted to show you how I do the heavy duty cleanup. So when I do use this, I scrub things down and then I like to let the contact be on there for a couple minutes. And that's why it uh, works to just kind of let things soak in there. And I'm going to keep my inflation brush right up hanging up near my equipment. And I try not to look at it so it doesn't spray me in the face. So I do keep regular bar soap, that's Kirk's Castile soap. We do have hard water and that's another important thing to know about is we use a water softener and that alone gives our water a lot more cleaning power. Hard water leaves these spots. Sometimes if our softener's gone out, I have the hardest time getting the milking machine clean. And so the softener really pays for itself and that I don't have to use nearly as much soap to get things clean. But the hard water soap works whether the softener's working or not. So I'll use that like in the evening when I'm just bottling milk for us and not wanting to do a heavy duty scrub. I will just use that soap. And I don't like using bleach day in and day out. But when I want to do a nice heavy clean, this is how I do it. And then I just rinse everything. And then let it air dry. When you dairy, you use a ton of water, and we have a decent well, but not room to be wasteful. And so I try to really limit how much <clears throat> water use we're going through. We still use a lot of water, but... There's a balance between cleanliness and wastefulness. And that didn't work. There we go.